to the shooting room here. I am at the shooting room right now. I got some quick errands to run. So, yeah. Today is the first day of my freshers welcome week for LSE. But I don't think I'm going to campus today because I have a few things to do. My course module selection will be open today and I might choose my modules with you guys. Right now I'm going to Zara to pick up a blazer I ordered online and then later I need to go to Boots to help my dad collect his medication and just go to the grocery to get some food. This is the British Museum that I get to walk past nearly at least like twice or three times a week because that's like I have to go past here to get into the city center. Pretty cool. This one is one of my favorite buildings in London. So, so beautiful. Am I a bit too far away? Can you hear me? <laughs> If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm doing my course selection for my postgrad in LSE, which is exciting because that kind of dictates what classes, what I learn, and what I do in my one year in London. I'm also having my noodles for breakfast. That, this is my breakfast. I'm a very Asian person. I really like my noodles. I eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> One thing I really like about LSE is they have a course video. So instead of me reading what the course is about, there's video that I can watch to actually understand and see what the professor is like because the professor is the one who uh, explains what the course is like. I kind of see if I actually like the way the professor delivers things, you know? So that's really helpful. I'm watching one of the potential modules that I'm interested in, which is called... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Mediated resistance and activism because you know if you watch the news there's a lot of these in Hong Kong and I think I want to dive deeper into my roots my home and just pick apart what's happening and analyze it in a critical eye so I think that would be a really cool and relevant module for me to take still not sure though I'm gonna bring you guys closer I feel so far away <laughs> This is probably like one of the rawest, rawest vlog I have vlogged. Literally, I wash my hair, my hair is damp. I don't look the best, but I just finished gym. I look like I have super wet hair, but it is because I wash my hair, not because from the sweat. So yeah, I'm just eating my breakfast and slowly choosing my module. I, I'm just so picky. I'm so indecisive. I have made a short list of like myriads of courses that I want to take but I have to definitely funnel it down to only um four or three I think three and then also also when the course the schedule of the lecture also affects me since right now I'm doing long distance with my boyfriend and I really want to make either Monday or Friday free so I can visit him and have a long weekend I'm trying to make that possible as well I'm just looking at the timetable for each module and see which one fits my own schedule the best and see if it's an interesting course that I can actually um, learn like something useful from it that is relevant to my future, my ideal future or something because there's so many to pick from. Uh, yeah, I'll show you guys, wait. I am looking at the optional courses obviously because for the core courses, I can't pick anyway. No point of looking. These are the optional courses that I can pick. This one was the video that I was watching. I'm basically interested in all of them, except for some really specific one that I... I am interested in this one as well, but this one, I have to write... Okay, I'll show you guys. Oh wait, not this one. I'll show you guys. Course selection. No. Cancel. Okay, so for this one, enter... This is the short list that I've made. But I have to write a personal statement to be accepted. And so the module convener have to choose what student she wants to take for this course, which I think is so narcissistic and it's such an effort. I already wrote such a good personal statement to get in LSE. Why don't you do it again? So I, I don't really know. But yeah, I'm just... Bra ah, this is one of the potential professor. <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking at... Uh, 
the courses right now. I think I have narrowed my course selection for this academic year to these six, seven courses. Digital media future, strategic communication and practice, professional perspective, media data. Oh my gosh, this one. Nick Kodri teaches it and I read so much of his writing um, when I was an undergrad in Sheffield. So I'm so excited for this one. These are core modules. I can't really choose, but I can only choose three selective ones. And I chose these three because Alison Powell, I also have heard of like her name. And this one is just interesting because this is a more practical module that I think is quite relevant when I want to step into the media industry in the future. Hmm. What else do I need to do today? Today, someone's going to come fix my washing machine as well. My washing machine has been broken for a month today, I think. My property manager and my landlord takes forever to reply. And the combination of both means that everything is so, so mega slow. Hopefully, my washing machine will finally be fixed because right now I have to go to laundrette to wash my clothes, bring my clothes back. And it's such a long journey, a heavy journey with the towels and the clothes and all that. Therefore, uh, hopefully I'll get that fixed. Hooray, a working, finally working washing machine. I'm never gonna take washing machines for granted now. I've been living without this thing for a month now, <laughs> gosh. And then I also need a, I also need to replace my fob because right now I live with my parents and they're gonna move out soon because my roommate's moving in. But my dad, he accidentally put the fob in the dryer. So the fob is like bent and it doesn't work. So I need to replace that. Um, I think that is all the chores. I've done the previous chores. I went to grocery shopping and collected my dad's medication and things. Got my Zara blazer. I'll show you guys later. I feel not that cute to wear that blazer yet. Like what I'm wearing is literally my PJs. I don't think I should wear the blazer because I feel like I'll look ugly and I will be sad that I bought that blazer because I don't have a good outfit to pair with it. Oh yeah, I'm also going to submit my LSE vlogger application today, I think. I finished uh, writing my application, finished making the video for the application, and I've been too scared to submit it, but I think I need to submit it uh, anyway because the deadline is next week, so I want to just get it done and dusted. That's about it, really. A lot, a lot of admin stuff, but... Hey ho, my life is just full of admin stuff. I literally do admin stuff 24 seven. You know, my boyfriend always jokes that, oh, like I can be such a great secretary because I'm pretty much my parents' secretary. If you didn't know, my parents don't speak English. I am very privileged to be sent to an international school to learn English through my parents' money. Obviously, I have the responsibility to assist them when they come to the UK to visit me. So I've been just doing or their communication for them. I was translating the flat contract for them, sorting out the utility bills for them, sorting out car parking, like literally everything. Therefore, I am my parents' personal secretary. Yeah, I feel like that is probably something I'm super good at, just helping people organize their life. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna stop blabbering because I, I need to actually pick out and finalize my modules for this year, which is very important because that dictates my whole year and what classes I'm gonna take. I'm just gonna just read through all the um, description of the modules again, just to make sure I actually like it because I don't wanna get in there and realize, oh my gosh, it's not the thing I was expecting. Yeah, coffee. Mm. Have you guys seen the coffee machine I have? Ooh, this one. My baby, ne my Nespresso. It's actually my flatmate. This one. She also has an ice maker. If you watch my flat tour, you know she also has an ice maker. This one. Oh, I make the best coffee with this machine. This is my drawer of Nespresso capsules. And then I love adding my minor figure milk with my coffee. So, so good. Perfect chef. The blazer that I bought from Zara was actually uh, inspired by Nuria. If I don't know if you watch a lot of YouTube, but Nuria Ma is one of 
a vlogger, fashion YouTuber. And I saw her wearing this outfit. Wait. Ooh, let's go back so you can see the blazer. So cute. I was like, oh my god, I need this blazer too. I love this whole outfit that she's wearing. It's like tomboyish, but quite chic. I bought the exact same blazer. I'll show you guys later. It's quite an oversized blazer, but I just thought she pulled it off so nicely. And we're both Asian. <laughs> so, oh, such a cute blazer. I love it, honestly. I it looks so it looks so smart, like with my university tote bag. I don't know. I kind of style it like similar to Nuria, so I found trousers that's quite similar palette color tone and a white top kind of thing. I think it's it's a cute look. Yay! <laughs> I'm just trying different outfits with this blazer. Okay, so this is me just awkwardly pretending to drink coffee and realize that there wasn't any coffee. And this is a little sneak peek on my parents' flat. I didn't ask them for permission, so it's a very quick little video segment. Thank you guys for watching my vlog. I am back home now. It was a nice trip to my parents' flat. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little vlog that I talked a lot. I shared a lot of my personal opinions in life and updates and everything. It's like a mini update on how I'm doing and also me choosing LSE courses. Uh, yeah, there will be more video next week for sure since I was gonna do like a day in my life, a day in my week, a life in my week, a vlog. Okay, I was gonna do a vlog of my whole week but then just that one day was like 10 minutes long so me personally i don't like to watch videos that are too long therefore i just think it's a better idea to make each day a different video i also vlog today which is uh the next day from the video you watched just now if that makes sense because i filmed the video on monday which is the video you're watching right now and today is tuesday and i also vlog today therefore uh hopefully i can vlog every single day today and just make a video every single day out of it Know. we'll see but um yeah love you guys hope you have a nice morning nice evening and a nice night whenever you're watching this and i'll see you guys soon bye